Hello everyone, welcome to Road to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting question. So here we have given if x by y equals to 9 by b equals to 2 by 3 and y square minus b square equals to 27, then what is the value of x square minus a square? So here we have given a ratio and also given an equation and we are asked to find the value of this expression x square minus a square. So, here I am going to solve this question in two methods. Please stay tuned to end of this video to understand both the methods. So, without any delay, let's just start the solution. So, in the first method, I am going to use a rule called Componendo and Dividendo. That is, if x and y are in the ratio is equals to p by q, then this must be equals to x plus y divided by x minus y equals to p plus q divided by p minus q. This is called the componendo and dividendo method. Okay, I am going to apply the same method here. So, our given ratio is x by y equals to a by b equals to 2 by 3. Okay. Now, Considering this 2, we can write x by y equals to a by b. Now in the next step, by cross multiplication, I can write x by a equals to y by b. Okay. Now, in this step, I will apply the component or dividend method. That is, x plus a divided by x minus a equals to, to y plus b divided by y minus b. This implies this. Now, I will bring this y plus b here and x minus a here by cross multiplication. So, I can write x plus a divided by y plus b equals to x minus a divided by y minus b. Now, multiplying x minus a both side of equation we have x plus a multiplied with x minus a divided by y plus b. Here in the denominator, I will multiply y minus b in the both side. So, here we have my y minus b equals to x minus a square divided by y minus b square. Okay. This implies this. This will become... By applying the identity of a square minus b square equals to a plus b multiplied with a minus b. By applying this identity, I can write x square minus a square divided by y square minus b square equals to x minus a divided by y minus b whole square. Okay. So, this is nothing but x square minus a square divide by y minus y square minus b square equals to the all the ratios are equals to 2 by 3 so this will become 2 by 3 square which is equals to x square minus a square divide by y square minus b square equals to 4 by 9 this implies this x square minus a square equals to 4 by 9 multiplied with y square minus b square. So, we have given in the question y square minus b square equals to 27. Let's just put the value here. So, we have x square minus a square equals to 4 by 9 multiplied with 27. So, this to get cancelled out by 3. So, this implies this x square minus a square equals to 12 is our answer. Now, in the second method, we have given x by y equals to a by b equals to 2 by 3 and y square minus b square equals to 27. Okay. In the first step, I will equate x by y with 2 by 3. So, I can write x by y equals to 2 by 3. Now, squaring both the side, we have x square by y square equals to 4 by 9. From here, by cross multiplication, we can write y square equals to 9x square divided by 4. Okay. So, here we are getting y square equals to 9x square by 4. Now, equating a by b 
with 2 by 3 we have a by b equals to 2 by 3 again i will square both the side of equation so we have a square by b square equals to 4 by 9 okay now from here again write b square equals to 9 a square divided by 4 okay okay now i will put the value of y square and b square in this equation 2 okay so from equation 2 we have y square minus b square equals to 27 so we have we found out y square equals to 9x square by 4 minus 9a square by 4 equals to 27 okay so i'll take common 9 by 4 so we have here x square minus a square equals to 27 so this implies x square minus a square equals to 27 multiplied with 4 by 9 so this to get cancelled out by 3 so finally we are getting x square minus a square equals to 12 is our answer i hope you have understood both the methods please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos thank you